The Boston Celtics are now on a seven game winning streak, absolutely demoralizing everyone that they get in front of. And one of the big reasons why we've been so good, especially over the last two games, is Luke Cornett, man. And I know a lot of people don't expect me to talk about Luke Cornett. But man, he's coming off two really good games. In this video, I want to break down some of his film from this game versus the Chicago Bulls. He had 10 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, as, as well as a steal as well. Then you go back to last game versus Brooklyn. He had 8 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 steal, or three blocks, 1 steal. The man's been really, really good. And, you know, what it does is affect the emergence of a guy like Xavier Tillman. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that as well as go in depth and talk about why Luke Cornette is actually playing really good basketball right now and maybe the trade for, for Xavier Tillman motivated him, right? But without any further ado, let's jump into some film. So on this play, we're going to get a screen here, a high screen and roll by Luke Cornette and Jason Tatum. Now we see this a lot in Boston. We love this, uh, this pick and roll game, pick and pop game with Porzingis or Al or Luke or whoever it may be. Um, now on this play specifically, we're going to double or the Bulls are going to double team Tatum off the jump, allowing Luke Cornette to drive the basket, right? Javon Carter or uh, DeMar DeRozan should be sinking into the paint which they don't do. They both go out to their guys. Luke Cornet has a wide open lane to the basket for an easy dunk. Now, whenever you have these two guys down low, not picking up, and, you know, quite frankly, they're just not big enough to guard a guy like Luke Cornet down there. This is easy money all day long. And this is just something Luke Cornet does that sometimes Xavier Tillman might not be able to do. So I think right off the bat, Luke Cornet adds this type of energy to our offense you know, someone who can high fly, go grab these lobs and throw them down, right? Now, Rob Williams did it at a different level, but I think Luke Cornett's starting to really pick it up in terms of being able to do this at a high level. Boom, here we go again. Now we're going to get another pick and pop, pick and roll game here between Drew Holiday and Jason Tatum. Tatum drives right or drives left, draws these initial two, three defenders in here, right here, as well as Andre Drummond in the paint, right? So boom, drives into the lane, throws up a contested layup, does get blocked by Drummond, but Luke Cornett with his tenacity, with his ability to just stay in plays, um, especially on the offensive side of the ball, getting the offensive rebound and throwing it down. Late in this game, Luke Cornett was a big reason we got back into a big lead right he played a major role late third quarter early first fourth quarter where he just played excellent basketball right i love this play here kind of just stays down low says you know what tatum you're probably gonna go up with this over three guys i'm here just in case you need me right boom block easy money every single time love to see it now, defensively, Luke Cornette has been pretty decent as well. Like we said, versus the Nets before the All-Star break, the man had, what, three blocks, one steal? Pretty damn good, right? Here we go. DeMar DeRozan drives into the lane, going to post up here on Drew Holiday. Now, the first thing we notice here is Andre Drummond trying to get behind Luke Cornette, trying to just stay under the basket. So, boom, they're going to kick it out to Alex Crusoe, pump fakes a three, gets his guy into the air, right? Now that Al's in the air, we need to be able to rotate, right? So now we need Drew kind of, you know, playing stop here on Alice Crusoe. Does, drives in, ball's tipped up in the air. Drew Holiday makes an amazing play getting that steal. But now watch Luke Cornett. Now he's a big man. We don't expect Luke Cornett to absolutely run the floor like this, but he does. Look at him, hustling. You can tell. That trade for Xavier Tillman has really helped out Luke Cornette get more involved and be more ready when his number is called, right? So here we go, beautiful fast break. Now right here, we have Tatum top of the key. We have an open corner three for Payne Pritchard. You're going to see DeMar DeRozan cut to the or cut to the, the corner to cover that. We have one-on-one -on -one Kobe White, Jason Tatum. We have 15 here, Julian Phillips covering the fast break of these two guys. But nobody is noticing that big Luke Cornette is skyrocketing down the floor who's going to catch an easy lob there because no Nobody is playing defense on they quite frankly just forget about him right beautiful basketball guys if you want to see more Celtics videos more film review hit that like button really quickly get this video up to 200 likes but also subscribe if you're new it is free we cover the Celtics every single day with film review post game breakdown a weekly podcast um, and we live stream every single game. If you guys want to watch these games live with me on the channel, subscribe and turn on post notifications. But let's get right back into some film here. Now, again, another transition uh, opportunity here. We got Derek White bringing up the left side kicks over to Peyton Pritchard. Right now, we're up by 12. 102 90. 10 minutes left to go in the ball game. Now, we're going to give to Luke Cornette. In the beginning of this fourth quarter, 
we saw a ton of this right here. Luke Cornette facilitating the offense. Guys, real quickly before we get back into this video, do me a favor and go check out Underdog Fantasy. I've been killing it lately. We got one for $45 here. Nothing but green win. We had this one we lost. We had Jalen Brown over four and a half points in the first quarter. He had six easy money, but Ben Simmons sucks. Never betting on him again. And then here we go. A $21 one Halliburton Garland. Boom. We have a Steph Curry. Vince Williams won over, boom. We had another one here, Trey Man, DeMar DeRozan over, boom. Guys, they offer so many things that you can do. And if you use my promo code, they're going to offer you so many different ones that you can bet on. Look, guys, it doesn't stop, right? It does not stop. They have so many different opportunities for you guys to go out and win money. You can do it all day. Not only do they have the NBA, they have golf, NHL, tennis, FIFA, soccer, MLB, esports, basketball. They have everything. Everything that you guys can think of. Go check it out. Go win some money. If you use my promo code, they'll match your first deposit up to $100. And they're going to give you a free square. Now, what that means is let's just say Trey Young. They're going to put Trey Young at 0.5 points. Easy money. Take the higher. Go win some money and go continue to stack some bread but let's get back into the Luke Cornet video this is something we used to see a lot with uh you know this guy up here Al Horford used to take the ball top of the key and kind of pass where he needed it to go find the cutters find the open three-pointers and this is exactly what he did did here so facilitating sets a big screen off this off the uh you know the handoff to Derek White and Derek White's able to just quite frankly shoot right over that screen and gets it to go this is a big game for JB JT and Derek White JT especially in the second half was amazing uh JB and Derek White carried the first half now Al Horford in the corner is going to pull up for a three. We have two guys here, including the big man in Andre Drummond. What that tells us is we have a mismatch down low, right? Luke Cornett does a good job boxing out, getting up in there, and getting the putback dunk to go. This is amazing, right? Once you notice that Andre Drummond's down low, Luke Cornett is a threat all day long. Honestly, if you're the Bulls, you need to send these guys. I don't know what Drummond is doing right here, but you need to get into a full-out sprint trying to box out Luke Cornett able to get an easy putback dunk but what's crazy is he does it again he's able to do it on back-to-back -back plays here which we should see right here so boom a quick screen by luke Cornette. Derek white pulls up a wide open three right again now we have andre drummond contesting the three-point shot and boom what do we see luke Cornette boxing out as the offensive player boxing out waiting throws it down look at the extension by big luke Cornette. now this does listen it's crazy because this does hurt Xavier Tillman's odds a little bit playing, right? Now, this was a game where we allowed a lot of points down low. It felt like the, the Bulls were able to get pretty much whatever they wanted versus, versus us in the paint in this game. I'm going to go look at the stats real quickly right now. They had 50 points in the paint to our 30, right? So they dominated us. Almost half their points came inside the painted area. And Xavier Tillman is a guy who can really play good defense, right? Along the perimeter and the interior as well. So this was a game I thought, Hey, this is the game we throw in, throw out an Xavier Tillman. But I feel like Luke Cornette played so well uh, down the stretch of this game that it gave Joe Missoula, you know, no choice but to play him, right? Now, listen, I want to see Xavier Tillman. I want to see what he can do. But if Luke Cornette plays like this, it's going to make Xavier Tillman's life extremely difficult to get onto this floor. Now, with that being said, I do believe Xavier Tillman is the better player. You just cannot, you know, you can't hate on Luke Cornette right now. Because he's playing good basketball and he's doing it at a high level right now. I think that trade is really starting to motivate him to be a better player. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, join the family, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.